It's not every day that fifth graders train with high schoolers or work with a skills coach who trains a plethora of NBA players. But for two days this week, that's the case at Joe Stalma Gym. BCSN's Joel Sebastianelli has the story from Rossford. To get to the next level takes effort, attitude, Can we get 20 more minutes? and skill. The grind doesn't stop when school does, and the separation summer camp making a stop at Rossford this week is here to help with that. We got 30 kids from, I think the youngest kid was fifth grade, and I think the oldest kid. I started the day training two college kids that were here. Normally I work with individual players. Uh, in the summertime, I like to do some of these where I travel to five or six different states for a couple days and get to meet with new kids and new coaches and kind of share everything that I learn with pros and teach with pros to middle school and high school kids. It's all game speed, you know, get the ball, make a move. Um, it's not much standing around, it's all fast paced. I worked on step backs, uh, going to the rim, finishing, reverse finish, um, try to get past the defender, swiping the defender's hand away. To me, it doesn't make sense to train stuff that you're not going to do in a game. I've never really understood that. So my process is, hey, we're going to teach it, we're going to drill it, and then we're going to implement it to see if it works kind of in a game-like setting. The drills are different from what the players are used to. I'm a big detail guy. You know, I'm blessed to train really good players, but I'm blessed to learn from those good players. Boom, we're live. He's going to space jab. Hey, and then now we're playing. So is the experience of the skills coach. I spend most of my time training by talking to my players. They teach me as much as I teach them. So it's nice to be able to get out here with like younger kids and teach them small stuff that you probably would never know unless you talk to an NBA player. Where's my right foot need to go if I'm changing direction and going this way? The last four or five years, I've moved out to Los Angeles and have been able to work with you know, a handful of different pros and you know, college players. Langston Galloway, um, D'Anthony Melton, James Ennis, Frank Mason, I've helped with my mentor, Drew Hanlon, worked with Bradley Beal, Zach Levine, Jason Tatum, so I've kind of seen all sides of the spectrum. Today's session lasted three hours. The hope is what they've learned can be put into practice every day. Players, I feel they, they don't get what they need in a game scenario, like breaking down moves to them and it's just go around a cone and finish here, finish there. What what he's bringing is more guidance to where how to get by somebody. If they do this, and then that's what's going to happen. If I do this and I put the ball here, he's taking. How to play the game and read the game. Like this stuff that they're doing, they can all go home and do this on their own. You can always build off of more moves. So yeah, just basically it gives us stuff that we can build off on our own. On Joe Stelmacourt, Joel Sebastianelli. BCSN.